It turns out that range anxiety is not cured by Pfizer's Blue Pill, but by Hyundai's Blue Drive. Typical electric vehicle, um, there's a lot of anxiety about whether you'll be able to make it to your destination. We will be able to find a charging station at your destination, will it be working? Uh, but with a plug-in hybrid vehicle, it really is the best of both, both worlds. Scott Margeson is with Hyundai. The Korean automaker flew real-world test drive to Southern California for a first look at their first plug-in hybrid. A vehicle like the uh, 2016 um, Sonata plug-in hybrid, very nice, comfortable, mid-sized car. The same type of range in total that you're used to in a traditional vehicle, but yet you have this benefit of very high mileage and the ability to run in many circumstances in completely electric mode. The arterial highways of the Golden State are as clogged as the arteries of someone who eats at the Golden Arches every day. Consider the Hyundai plug-in hybrid automotive Lipitor. Because the car operates for the first 24 miles in electric-only mode, it allows owners to get a special sticker allowing them to drive in the HOV lanes, even when they're alone. And just like statins, the CleanPass sticker can be a lifesaver, or at least a sanity saver, for commuters who face California traffic on a daily basis. Not only is the Sonata plug-in hybrid clean, it's also really quiet. So underneath the uh, front bumper, there is a speaker, and it actually emits a noise to alert uh, pedestrians that there is a, a vehicle um, in their proximity, because otherwise, when the vehicle's in electric mode, it's so quiet that it's difficult for um, pedestrians to hear the vehicle coming up. So it just emits a little simulated engine sound. Speaking of noises emanating from the car, my drive partner on the trip said he wished it was possible to silence the lane departure warning and have it just vibrate the steering wheel or the seat. I asked why. He said, clearly, you're not married. My friend said that every time the car beeped because he wandered out of his lane, he knew his wife would say, why'd you do that again? Anyway, there are a lot of other safety and convenience features on the plug-in hybrid, including adaptive cruise, which will bring your car to a complete stop in rush hour traffic, and then start you up again when the snarl unravels. The plug-in hybrid also allows you to plug in the Hyundai's telematic system called Blue Link. In addition to looking stuff up for you and programming your navigation, Blue Link also provides automatic crash notification. That's important you're in a really bad wreck and your cell phone is either not charged or out of reach. Blue Link knows where you are and where to send help. But don't count on plugging in more than one iPhone at a time. The Sonata has only one USB port. There are a bunch of 12-volt outlets, which means you'll have to spend a few bucks on adapters to keep the juice box sets electronics full of juice. Hyundai has not yet announced pricing for the Sonata plug-in hybrid. There are rather large federal tax credits available to buyers of the hybrid because it's an electric vehicle. With a plug-in hybrid, there is a federal um, tax credit um, that uh, all plug-in hybrids are eligible for. The actual amount um, varies depending on how large the battery is. In um, case of the Sonata plug-in hybrid, it will be almost $5,000. The Sonata plug-in hybrid will be available in California and a few other smoggy states, and then eventually as a special order vehicle in the rest of the nation. Like some other electric cars, the Sonata plug-in hybrid is not available with the sunroof. I guess that's because of the added weight. Hyundai would not comment on whether their plug-in hybrid could eventually be used to power your house during a blackout, but it can be assumed that Hyundai, along with the other electric car manufacturers, are taking a close look at how electric or hybrid electric cars can be used as a backup power supply for homes. We will cover the new Sonata non-plug-in hybrid in another review, so make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. In Huntington Beach, California, I'm Grant Winter for Real World Test Drive.